Hello and welcome to the Excel VBA functions series. In this video, we'll see the string functions left, mid, right, and len. And these are actually very similar to the Excel worksheet built-in functions. Let's have a look at the basic syntax of the functions. And as a first simple example, we're going to have some text and let's declare it as a string. And the text is going to say Excel Macromania. And to get the left of the text, we use the left function in the same way we use it in a, in a worksheet. So we need the input, which is text, and then the length or the number of characters that we want to get from the left. Let's say we're going to get five. So if we display this in a message box, left text, taking five characters, we're going to get Excel. Those are the first five characters of the string. In the same way, we can get the last five characters with the right function. So let me just change this to right, and we're going to use the right VVA function. Now we will get mania. Those are the, the last five characters. And now if we want to get something in the middle, we're going to use, of course, the mid function. So mid text is going to be mid. Now we need the text and we need and we need the start position. And for example, we're going to put it at number seven and then we're going to get also five characters. So if we display this in the message box, as you see, we get macro. Now the total length of the text is given with the length function and that's of course 15 characters plus two spaces 17 characters so these are the basics of these four functions now let's have a look at another example if we want to get the extension of these file names we could easily do it with the right excel function using this text and three characters because the extension for all of these files has only three characters, right? So that's how we would do it in Excel. Now let's see how we do it in Excel VVA. And for that, we're going to create a function to get the extension. And as an input, we're going to get the file name as a string. And the extension is also going to be a string. And that's as simple as get extension is going to be the right of the file name taking three characters. So now let's replace this here with our with our custom created function. And that's get extension, you see here, for this file. And we get the same outcome, of course. But we could do much more with Excel VVA. For example, we could take this and create another function and I'm going to call it get file type. And now instead of ext get extension here, we're going to have a variable extension. And then if extension is JPEG, then get file type is going to be picture. Else if extension is a PDF, then get file type is going to be a document and so on. We could do it for any other types of, of files. So if we come back here and say get file type, this new function that we've created for this file, we will get is a picture. If we do it for the other one, we will get is a document. And if we just add this to the code, we could get it for all of them. Now let's have a look at other example. Here we have the file name and now we have the size, but the size is sometimes in kilobytes, sometimes in megabytes. We want to have the size always in the same unit. So we're going to create a function to get the size in kilobytes. Let me move to another module here. So we're going to create a function, get size in kilobytes, and we're going to have the file size as a string but we're going to return an integer, just the number of kilobytes. And now we're going to get the size unit using the right function 
getting from the file size just the last two characters, which is going to be KB, MB, or GB for gigabyte. Then we're going to have the size number. To get that, we're going to use the left of the file size where we're going to have the length of the file size minus 2, because we know the unit is always two characters. Then if the size unit is MB, then the size in KB is going to be the size number times 1024. Else if size unit is GB, then get size in kilobytes is going to be the size number times 1024 times 1024 and else so if it's kilobyte it's just going to be the same as the size number okay so now let's see how that works if we come back here and say get the size in kilobytes function and then we refer to this column B for 12 kilobytes we get 12 and if we move down we're gonna get 354 kilobytes here here we're gonna get 23,000 and here we get an error because it's a large number and actually I made a mistake here this should not be declared as an integer that number is larger than what an integer can store it should be long but actually we should rather use a double which can accept also decimal numbers. So now let me refresh this again. And now we get the size in kilobytes for a video file here. Now let's see another example. Here we have also the drive path. And please note that we are looking at these functions, but we could probably use other functions to, to get the extension and the size in a more efficient way. Like, for example, here, if the file has extension with more than three characters, we would not get it, right? So we will see later in some other videos, other VBA functions, which are probably more adequate to get the extension or to get the size or to get the different folders here. We will see that. We will keep using some of these examples with other VBA functions. But yet I want to use the drive path to show you an example of the meet function. Because one way we could get the folder, either the last folder or each folder or the path root here is using the meet function in a loop. So let me create another function that is going to get the last folder for the file path as a string and it's going to return a string as well. And for that we're going to use a loop for i starting from the end actually. So length of the file path to one and we're gonna go backwards then we're gonna get each character with the meet function for file path starting in i and getting only just one character this is a very common method to navigate through a string then if the character is the backslash We're going to get the last folder getting the right of the file path for a length of the length of the file path minus i. Then we can exit the for loop and the if statement here and I move to the next character. So now if we use here the get last folder function that, that we've created as you see we get the last folder documents here documents music videos so that's just an example of using a loop with the meet function i've used that for example in the word search generator i'm gonna leave the link up here but let me show you quickly how that works so let's say we have a word that we want to place in the word search puzzle for example, Microsoft, and then we start a loop as we've done earlier from one to the length of the word. 
And in the previous example, we went backwards to get the last folder, but here we go forward. Now we're going to add each letter to a column. So let's increment the value of C by one. And then in cells, first row column C, we're going to have each letter in a different cell using the mid function of the word. We're going to have I and one character. Let me move to another worksheet here and run this macro. As you see, we get each letter in a different cell. And this was actually the principle we used to create the word search puzzle in that other video. So that's how we use the string functions left, right, mid, and len in Excel VBA. Thanks for watching.